I'm a beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading. We're going to see who is coming towards you now and what you need to know about it. So I am going to pull some oracles uh, to pull in the energy and then we'll pull the tarot. We'll clarify what's needed and we'll see what you don't see coming. So with that, let's get started. As always, let me know in the comments what you're trying to manifest and be specific and positive so that energy comes right back to you. So with that, let's see who is coming towards Capricorn and what do they need to know about it? Okay, a couple cards there. Let's get one more. Thank you, Spirit. There it is. Okay, and then I'm also going to pull a few cards here as well. Okay. All right, let's see what comes through here. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I feel like there is somebody that you saw yourself, like you felt like this person was meant to be in your life. This person was meant to be in your life, whether no matter what direction things are going here, but I see the destiny card, okay? But I feel like this is somebody who wasn't very honest with you because you do have the deception card. So it does feel like this person wasn't honest with you about something or deceived you in some sort of way. Definitely feels like they didn't tell you the truth. Now, some of you, it could just also be that this person misleaded you when it came to commitment because you do have engagement card, which talks about uh, things moving to higher level of commitment. Now, so I feel like this is somebody who just wasn't honest about where things were going. And it could be whatever the next level was. It could be exclusivity. It could be commitment in a relationship. It could be engagement. It could even be marriage. I do see that there is distance and separation between you and this person. I'm also picking up heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So I feel like right now, um, because I'm going to go through these cards as well, but I feel like right now there's not a whole lot of communication between you and this person. So with the deception card, you do have destiny. The destiny card can talk about chances. I don't want to say anything more about that until I get more cards, but you also have here the family card. Now, either you saw yourself being in a committed relationship and you know maybe possibly having a family for those who want children or already have children but for others it could just also tell me that this is someone you you may even have children with this person okay but you were looking at this connection i feel as being together being in something committed in long term is strongly what i'm getting now with the heart to heart conversations you also have here travel and that's where i feel like there is distance i feel like right now maybe there's long distance for some of you but i feel like right now you and this person are not speaking a whole lot with the separation card you also have here union Okay. Now it could tell me here, we'll see what the tarot has to say, it could tell me that you're going to hear from this person. There's definitely something very destined uh, that is meant to be in this connection. That's why I didn't want to say anything more because I want to see what the tarot shows. Okay, so let's uh, get a few shuffles and then we'll pull in the energy. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Capricorn about who is coming towards them and what do they need to know about it? Now, I'm going to say for some of you, if you are communicating with this person, it, uh, it could just mean that you feel when it comes to conversation around commitment or the next level, 
some of you may be feeling like this person is avoiding right those conversations okay take it how it resonates because everybody's in a different uh phase of their love life okay yeah well let's see what comes through here okay yeah see the the king of swords the king of swords for me is like that deep that tight-lipped person see and that's where i feel like this person they have not really communicated to you honestly i feel in the past or where things are going or were going you have here the star card so i am picking up aquarius libra gemini energy so far so someone i feel like Things have not been balanced in this energy. Could be an Aquarius if I didn't say that already. You have the chariot here too. See, there's something here too about travel. It's also Cancerian energy. So just not seeing a whole lot of movement, I feel, or just feeling like this person this it definitely i get here like something about what this person communicated to you was not honest and it wasn't moving in the direction of where you felt things were balanced or aligned with your goals strongly i'm getting there and see and here it is the five of pentacles there's the lack energy when it came to the next level in this connection and look yeah the four swords on the bottom of the deck so there's distance and separation now this could tell me this person's thinking about you uh, they're really uh, thinking about you while there's distance here but i feel like i need four more cards what else can you share with capricorn about who's coming towards them and what do they need to know about this so right now I'm just picking like an energy that there is distance. Um, you got the four of cups here. Okay, my dog chewed this card. That's why it is. Okay, so I do get that you're going to hear from this person. I'm not picking up a new energy Capricorn. I am picking up somebody here from the past. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Swords uh, and the King of Wands. We're going to go deeper into this and what you don't see coming um, in a little bit here. But I do see somebody who has been thinking about you taking some sort of action. And I see communication. I'm picking up a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also picking up an air sign, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, as I said earlier. See, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like this is somebody who just wasn't honest here or they weren't offering something here for the long term. Okay, I want to see why this King of Swords is here. I'm going to clarify that first. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Heartstrings. Strike a chord together with gentle harmony. This talks about balance and serenity, but I definitely feel like this is a detached energy, somebody who really couldn't open up how they were feeling. Okay, this person is very strategic. You have uh, the perfect moves card. So this is somebody I feel like they were more about, uh, more in a playful energy with you. Uh, very detached. Let me pull another card there. I feel like this person did what they needed to do to keep the two of you, you know, close but at the same time I feel like this was somebody who didn't really open up you, yeah when it came to the long term you got the ever after card this talks about the long term so this is someone who deceived you about the future right there it is with the ace of pentacles let's clarify the judgment card also since I am seeing this knight of swords could tell me this person is returning wanting to rekindle things but it can also tell me this person is making some decisions about the future. So tell me more about the judgment. Tell me more about the judgment. Yeah, it's a renewal. Renewal. Okay, this person's coming towards you. They're going to try and connect with you again. You have fanned the flames. This is renewal. This is romance. Uh, doing what it takes to keep the passion alive. So... 
Some of you, this could be a repeating energy that, you know, somebody comes around for the passion. But it also talks about the love wings here is putting aside differences. Okay, so whatever the challenges are, this person's going to come back around. They're going to try and heal this connection. Heart to heart conversations in the four of cups. So you're going to hear from this person, but I feel like you're going to you're going to have hesitation because I feel like you may feel there's limited potential here, just based on this person's actions of the past. Let's clarify this four of cups. Tell me more about this four of cups. Okay, so you have the love song. Yeah, this talks about being in sync. It says, let love's melody inspire your dance together. See, your hesitation is you don't know if this person is in alignment with your energy of what you're wanting, right? Where you see things going, what your goals are, do they align with your goals? Because you also have here the fine romance. This talks about mystery. Even though the two of you are very attracted to each other, this talks about being caught up in the whirlwind of emotions and promises. So, you know, you see a wedding ring here. So a lot of you, it may be like you're seriously thinking about engagement or marriage. And that's the hesitation here. Is that you don't know if this person is aligned with your goals of being married or engaged or committed and some of you may have felt that this person misled you you know made some promises but didn't hold true to them let's clarify uh, this five of pentacles tell me more about the five of pentacles yeah, expectations. This talks about having very high ideals or unreasonable expectations. So this is also like a dream or fantasy energy. So you may have like an expectation of what you're looking for, but the Five of Pentacles shows me you didn't receive what you needed to receive in this connection. And I feel because of that, something happened. That's what caused the separation and the distance here. Tell me more about, okay, yeah, look at that. Stability flew out there too. So not feeling like things are stable here. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Got the Burning Bright card on the bottom of the deck. This talks about intimacy, sparks, and warmth. Okay. That kind of concerns me there because that could tell me this person is rushing back. You know, wanting that passion again. Okay, wanting a renewal here. You do have coming around. Hoping for another chance. Having regrets. Reconciling. Connecting on a deeper level. Okay. Uh, the, the two of pentacles could tell me either things are rocky between the two of you or could tell me that this is a very on and off connection. And it may be an indication that there's an opportunity for you and this person to find balance again here. But I want to see what you don't see coming. Okay, because that's what's going to be important here um, with this person. So like I said, you have the knight of swords. I see communication coming in soon, coming in fast king of wands this person's been thinking about you also shows me they're taking action knight of wands returning feels like a very on and off inconsistent energy two of wands this person is thinking about the future they know they have to make some sort of decision page of pentacles I'm going to keep going. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely shows here. Like, they want the opportunity with you. You do have the tower. So it could tell me, like, this communication is going to happen, like, unexpectedly. You have Page of Cups. Could be an unexpected apology as well. The Fool card. New Beginning. Ace of Cups. Again, new beginning, renewal of love here, healing, peace. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Look at that. You have one, two, three pages here. 
I feel like this is an indication that this person has feelings for you. There's no doubt about that. Okay. You have, uh, look at this, the six of cups and the double your energy. There's no doubt that this person has feelings for you, but what concerns me here, you got, uh, you have a knight, you have the king, but that's more about this person taking action, returning here, thinking about the future, hasn't made any decisions yet, okay, and I feel around commitment. It feels like they're still going to hold back. If you, you know, if you really are set on the goals of what you want to happen with this connection and time has passed and you just don't see a whole lot of movement with this person, I feel like it's going to, this could be a pattern that repeats with this person. But I, I will say that both of you feel the same way about each other. There's feelings there. It shows me that here with on the Queen of Cups, but it also shows me with the Six of Swords that this person feels kind of un emotionally unavailable. And look, you also have here um, the Hangman. So I feel like this is someone who, I feel somebody who keeps you in limbo. You also have here the Nine of Cups and Sagittarius energy, okay? I feel this person's coming back around for the romance, the passion. You do have the Four of Swords here. I feel like this could be somebody, again, who pulls back. Um, somebody who doesn't commit. I see conflict here. I feel like the two of you are not in alignment with what you want. And this person could definitely uh, come back around and the same thing happen again. So, you know, that could be the destiny part here is that there is a life lesson involved here, okay? And so the universe is trying to show you that this person may is somebody who's not ready as strongly what I'm getting here, but they're going to come back around strongly I'm getting here and you'll have to decide and listen to your intuition. So Capricorn, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you Angela.